Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. So today is going to be a relaxing rainy day full of nothing but laundry motivation. We are expecting some rain to come in. It is already getting gloomy and black outside and it's only 4 p.m. and you can see how dark it is. And as much as I would love to be curled up on my couch or even in my bed, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and stay on my routine and I'm going to get all of my laundry done. So if you have some laundry that you need to get done, whether it's washing or folding or sorting or even putting away after you done fold, let's go ahead. We can get this laundry done together and I hope that this video motivates you. So before I begin putting anything into the washer, I like to go through and sort. The piles that I sort into are underclothes, my kids' clothes, my husband's work clothes, our wash towels, my cleaning towels, our clothes, jeans, and whites. That is all that I go into and separate and I don't like to start the load until I'm done because even though I do this, I still find stuff after the load has started and that is a pet peeve of mine. I hate doing that. So I try to go through and check bathrooms, check rooms, check under the beds before I even start the load. So the first load we're going to be doing today are my towels. I like to throw in a Arm & Hammer pod, a Snuggle scent booster, and the Downy Light in the Ocean Mist scent. I have been loving this. And if you don't know, to get more for your money, you can get those online at Sam's Club. They don't have them in the store, not my store anyway as of yet, but they do have them online and it is a better buy than getting them in Walmart. And just an FYI, I don't wash my cleaning towels with our bath towels. Um, I do wash the kitchen towels with our bath towels, but not the cleaning ones. And as far as in my detergent compartment, I always use Pasil in everything that I wash. I also love laundry sanitizer. I put that in everything that I wash. I cannot wash without using this and I buy my container from Sam's Club. It seems like it's a better buy as well. And as far as a fabric softener, I love to use um, white vinegar. If you haven't tried it, you must try it. You can thank me later. It does not leave a vinegar smell in your clothes or your laundry. As far as the towels, I use them on the heavy duty setting and I use the water as hot as it can go. Now this step is very important, especially if you're using laundry baskets around your house when you're doing laundry, y'all. Make sure you're sanitizing your baskets, whether that's spraying them down, the cloth ones, or your plastic ones. At least wipe them out. That is a very important step. You don't want to put your clean clothes in the clothes where your dirty clothes was at. Bacteria can transfer, germs. With all these viruses going on, that's the last thing you want to do is transfer stuff around your house from dirty stuff to clean stuff. So y'all make sure y'all sanitizing y'all laundry baskets. That's something that people often forget to sanitize.
and now that we got our first load into the washer we're gonna come and check the weather and as you can see the news was right <laughs> Um, we are having a full-blown pull down right now it sounds so relaxing I wish that you could hear it but I didn't include the footage but um yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and get our towels into the dryer I am using dryer sheets I use the downy calm dryer sheets in the scent lavender and vanilla bean So our second load is going to consist of our underclothes and I use the same steps. Um, everything that I used in the towels I'm going to use in this. Besides when I wash them, I'm not going to wash them on hot, I wash them on cold. So luckily um, the towels and the underclothes basically stopped at the same time. You can see it was a one minute difference. So all I had to do was make one trip in and switch out my towels and my underclothes. So that was a plus. Just wish that I knew how something like that could happen. Maybe it's just in passing cause nothing is everlasting, no. So we also buy our detergent from Sam's Club as well and even though the container don't look as big on camera but really it is big and so I don't just leave it sitting on my laundry shelf I actually put it up in the cabinet and I keep the little jug and I just keep refilling so it's not as heavy to pick up and pour into my washing machine so that's why you see me refilling. It's the same rules when you play when you know that's not the case the only thing we know is that we change Nothing's ever gonna stay the same forever So we are still on our routine, we're still moving along. As you can see in the background, it is still raining, but I'm not gonna let that defeat me and get me on my couch. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep on folding my laundry. If you are enjoying the video thus far, I hope you would give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free, go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying this type of video. And while we're at it and I'm folding towels and this is on my mind, I wanted to uh, get you guys' opinion. Some of you may already do this, but it just crossed my mind to do it. But I want to get color-coded towels, meaning all everybody in my family have a different color towel um, that we use instead of like 
I use this towel this day I wash them and then somebody else could get it another day um, I just buy multiple towels with multiple different colors and everybody had their specific color like is that something that you guys do that's what I'm thinking about doing So I know you may be wondering, girl, why are you folding clothes on your kitchen table? But if I sit on my couch, um, more than likely the clothes won't get put away. If I go to my bedroom, more than likely the clothes not going to leave out the basket. I'm not, that means I'm not going to fold them. And I normally fold them on my kitchen counter, but at this time it was dinner time and my kids was eating. And... Um, so yeah, you know, whenever I'm trying to get something done, I have to do it in an uncomfortable setting. Meaning if I fold the clothes right here, I'm going to put them away because I'm not going to want them to just sit there day after day after day after day. So that's why I'm folding them on my kitchen table. And also, so y'all can see the rain in the background, make it like relaxing, you know. <laughs> it's something about you I miss. That kiss Well I don't usually get like this Get like, get like this Get like this Get like this Get like this To catch it falling Instead I fell off myself And I just can't stop falling These wings are gonna flap for me If I keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting How did I get so dizzy Thinking of you I don't usually get like this Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? I just wanna kiss you Well, I don't usually get like this Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? Yeah, I don't usually get lost So this was my last load of laundry for the day. I didn't have enough jeans to make a complete load and not enough of my husband's work clothes or white clothes. So I just put those in the basket. And when I sorted, um, we had been to the beach and so some of the beach towels still had sand in it. So I'm just going in and sweeping the floor of what little lint or dust or sand that may have fell out. So when I'm done with my laundry, it is important to me to wipe down my washer and dryer. And today I'm just using some odor band disinfectant um, and I'm just wiping them down on the outside. Taking time away. You always 
posting the pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on I also like to go in and make sure that everything still has the top back on it so that we don't have no leaks throughout the night. And then I also like to go in and clean out my utility sink. This is normally where I would like pull my mop water or sometimes if we have something that's really, really dirty, this is where we would come to to clean it. And I'm just using some random detergent just to give it a smell and clean it to wipe it out. Now that all my loads are done, I'm going to use this Lysol washing machine cleaner and sanitizer to sanitize and clean my washing machine. This is the last step that I do and I just pour it in every compartment in my washer and I turn it on the sanitize setting. I set the water to hot as it can go and I just let it run. It is a lengthy time but to know that my washer is being cleaned and sanitized, I don't mind. And as far as the dryer, I showed you this little gadget that I had. It is a dryer vent brush and I picked it up from Walmart and I am just now using it. So what better time to show you than now? So I just unhooked it. It does extend. I'm showing you the handle. All you have to do is twist it and you just stick it over in your dryer vent and just brush it. And I will say, and you can see it for yourself, um, it does like detach the lint from your dryer vent and like breaks it all up. And I just use my vacuum to like get up any little loose pieces that may have went into my dryer or on the floor. So this is all that this video consists of. I hope that it motivated you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Also, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed for more cleaning motivation. And also leave your girl some comments down below. Let her know what you thought of the video. Let me know something that you may want to see. And just chit chat with me down in the comments. I love getting to know each and every one of y'all. Y'all mean so much to me. Your support does not go unnoticed. And I am so grateful and thankful that you chose to support me. So I always want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you're blessing me. You're blessing my family just by watching. Even though you may not realize it. But we appreciate you. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.